discussing the New York State wine region. It's the third largest wine region in the United States. Only 30% of the grapes grown in New York are used to produce wine. The varieties of wine grapes widely vary in New York and including Vitis vinifera, the European varieties, French American hybrids, crosses between French and American grapes, and native North American grape varieties as well. The first wine grapes planted in New York are planted in the Hudson Valley by settlers in the 1600s. In 1839, the oldest continually operating winery, the Brotherhood Winery, is opened in the Hudson Valley. In 1860, the first Bonded Winery is opened, the Pleasant Valley Wine Company, in Hammondsport, New York. In 1872, the longest operating Sacramento Winery is opened in the Finger Lakes, Onada. In 1936, the first Vitis vinifera varieties are planted in the Finger Lakes. In 1951, Dr. Konstantin Frum, a Ukrainian immigrant, is hired by the Gold Seal Vineyards to lead a project to match the Finger Lakes soils and climates to Vitis vinifera varieties. In 1976, the New York Farm Winery Act is passed, easing the process for farm wineries, which is a big boost to the New York wine industry. In New York today, there are 11 AVAs and 471 wineries. The 11 AVAs crisscross the state of New York, east and west and north and south. I'm going to divide the state into east and west and start with the western part of the state. In the western part of the state, there are five AVAs. The Finger Lakes and its two sub-AVAs, the Niagara Escarpment, and Lake Erie. The Finger Lakes AVA consists of a series of glacial lakes that run north and south creating a continental climate with a short growing season and snowy icy winters. Varieties grown in Finger Lakes include Vitis vinifera, the French American hybrids, and also North American varieties. However, the Finger Lakes are known for their white wines, and in particular their Rieslings and Riesling ice wines. The Rieslings in the Finger Lakes rival those Rieslings produced in Germany. The Niagara Escarpment starts just north of Buffalo near Niagara Falls. Due to the escarpment in Lake Ontario, a mild microclimate is produced and wines produced in the escarpment are similar to those from the Finger Lakes. The Lake Erie ABA starts just south of Buffalo and runs along the southern edge of Lake Erie. This ABA is shared with Pennsylvania and Ohio also a continental climate and produces wine similar to the Finger Lakes. Well, let's stop and try a wine from Western New York. I selected a Riesling, the signature wine of Western New York. I'm gonna be tasting a Fort Cellars Riesling Classic 2017. The Fort Cellars Winery is a small artisan winery on the southeastern coast of Seneca Lake in the Finger Lakes AVA. A 2018 vintage of this particular wine ranked 31st on Wine Spectator's Top 100 list for that year. Let's take a taste of our wine, checking out that clarity, brilliance, legs, and color. Absolutely clear, very brilliant, very, very scant legs, a nice golden yellow. Let's swirl our wine and take a sniff. Definitely that signature petroleum aroma that comes with a reason. Let's try another sniff. Apple and pear. Let's try a taste. Apples, pears, melons, very, very nice. Body is definitely light. Alcohol for this particular reason is 13%. Acidity is high. Sweetness is dry. 
tan is light as expected. Overall balance, really, really nice. It's a very nice Riesling. Uh, as expected, uh, the Rieslings out of the Finger Lakes are, are really, really nice. Food pairings for this particular Riesling, Asian food, chicken, salads, fish. You want to serve this 45 to 50 degrees in a white wine glass. You do not have to decant it at all. I think you really want to drink this one young. The Rieslings can age, but I think this one's a, a, a nice a wine to drink while it's young. Let's move on to the eastern part of the state and talk about the AVAs there. In the eastern part of New York State, we have six AVAs, the Hudson River, Upper Hudson River, Lake Champlain, and Long Island. And Long Island has two sub-AVAs. Starting with the Hudson River AVA, it starts just north of New York City and ends just south of Albany. Due to ocean breezes channeled north up the River Valley, this AVA has cooler summers and warmer winters than the surrounding area, and they produce wines similar to the Finger Lakes. The upper Hudson Valley has shorter growing season and harsher winters. And due to that fact, the wineries have resorted to cold hardy wine grape varieties such as Frontenac and Marquette. The Lake Champlain AVA sits on the western side of Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain is located in the most northeastern corner of the state of New York. Here the winters are even harsher and the growing season even shorter, so they've also resorted to those cold harder varieties such as Frontenac and Marquette. The Long Island AVA sits on the very eastern tip of Long Island. Here we have a moderate maritime climate similar to Bordeaux, and they grow Bordeaux type wines such as Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon and make some very nice Bordeaux blends. Let's taste some wine from eastern New York. I'm going to be tasting a Walford Estates Vineyards Classic Red 2018. The Walford Estates Vineyard is located on the southeastern tip of Long Island. This is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Pinot Noir, and Petit Verdot. Let's taste their wine checking on that clarity, brilliance, flavors, and color. Very clear, nice and brilliant some nice legs. The color is a medium ruby red. Let's swirl our wine and take a sniff. Sandalwood and cassis, I believe. Let me try another sniff. Picking up some licorice. Let's try a taste. Definitely some oak, vanilla, cherries, blackberries. Body is medium. Alcohol for this blend is 12.8%. Acidity, I'm gonna say medium plus. Sweetness is definitely dry. Tannins, medium. Food pairings for this particular wine, I would say are steak, possibly with a red sauce, lamb, game meats. A nice piece of dark chocolate would really be good. You want to serve this in a red wine glass at 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. You probably want to decant this for about 30 minutes. And I think, even though this is a blend, I think it could age probably up to five years. I hope you've enjoyed our discussion of New York State wines. As you can see, the state has a great variety of wines to choose from. Make sure you try those incredible Rieslings. And I think you ought to get a chance to try some of these Bordeaux wines from Long Island as well. But remember, New York State makes wine from also French American hybrids and our native North American uh, grapes as well. So get a chance to try some of those as well. I'm looking forward to our next video and I'm going to be going to the state of Texas. So I look forward to seeing you then. And as always, raise a glass and have a drink.